Today we're gonna to show you how to batch edit your images in Lightroom. This is gonna allow you to edit one photograph and then have those changes applied to the entire photo shoot. So we're starting off with a series of images taken around the same time. Now, to apply this batch edit, all you have to do is edit as you normally would, and then at the end, just copy and paste the settings. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our crop tool over here. Let's straighten our horizon. There we go. Let's just click and drag and hit enter. That looks great. Now here in our edit settings, we're gonna to go to auto. That looks pretty good. I think maybe we'll bring our shadows just a little bit brighter. There we go. And maybe we'll bring our highlights up just a little bit again as well. All right, already this is looking pretty good. I do wanna select my subject and make them just a little bit brighter, especially in the shadows. So we're gonna move over to our masking tools. There we go, it's detecting people. Let's go ahead and click on our subject, hit create for the mask. And then we're gonna bring up our shadow levels just a little bit, and we're gonna take our color temperature and make that a little bit warmer as well. I think this is looking really good. Now, the last thing I wanna do is put a bit of a vignette around the edge, making the edges just a little bit more blue. So we're gonna click on the plus icon for our masks. We're gonna to go to a radial gradient. Let's click and drag from the center out and make sure we click on all the way up here at the top, invert. This is gonna make sure it affects the edges and not the center. We're gonna bring our exposure down just a little bit and bring our color temperature down just a little bit as well, giving us a really beautiful vignette look. So let's go ahead and hit that slash key to see there's our before and the after. This looks really good. Now I wanna copy all of these edit settings and then apply them or paste them to my other images. So we're gonna click on our photo here. Now down at the very bottom, you're gonna see it says copy edit settings. I can click on this gear icon here and actually choose what I'd like to select. Now, in this case, remember we straightened out our horizon. So I wanna make sure crop and geometry is checked. I also wanna make sure our masking is checked and this is going to identify the radial mask that we used and the mask that we used that identified the person. So it's gonna re-identify the person in every single photograph and then change their settings with the mask. All right, let's click here on copy and then all I have to do is click on my next image in the series and go down here to paste edit settings, or I can hit control or command V, and that's literally all there is to it. Now to apply multiples, I can hold shift and click on multiple images in the series, go to paste settings. Now this is going to say it's going to do it, it's gonna change or update the masks to three photos. If they also contain masks, you can choose to copy them or merge them. I'm gonna click on merge, and it's gonna update them to exactly this same edit. So we can now see every single photograph in our series has the exact same edit applied to it. They look absolutely fantastic. So the next time you have a big series of photos to edit, try just doing one, copy those settings to your clipboard, and then paste it across the entire series.